Shiloh. Hi, Dr. Arnold. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So I just want to give you a little introduction. Um, I work for a pregnancy and parenting website called EverydayFamily.com. We've got over 4 million members, and I think that vaccination is a very important topic, and I'm excited to talk to you about it. Great. Thank you so much for having me today. Yes. Um, so let's get right into it, and let's just talk about, you know, why, why is vaccination such an important topic for you and just for the population in general? Sure. You know, vaccinations is a uh, very important health topic to me, both personally and professionally. Um, personally, I'm a mom. I'm a mom of two uh, young children. And uh, just like any parent, uh, my goal is to optimize my children's health and well-being. And part of that is getting their vaccinations up to date, keeping on schedule uh, so that they can be as protected as possible uh, from these infections. Um, you know, the other side of the coin is that professionally, I'm a neonatologist. Uh, I'm a pediatrician. And so I care for babies uh, less than two years of age. Um, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, have seen the consequences of these uh, infections uh, for our most vulnerable kids, and that's children under the age of two. And so my goal is to raise awareness so that all parents know the facts and that they can be uh, the best advocates as possible to help uh, their children uh, get vaccinated and get vaccinated on time. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm also a mother of two. Um, we've got a four-year-old and a five-month-old, so Aww. we're going through all this. And I, I am definitely pro-vaccine, and I vaccinate all my children on time. However, I, in the community, you know, you talk to other mothers, and you hear their concerns um, with vaccination. A lot of them are opting for these delayed schedules and um, things like that. And can you speak to that? And is, is that okay? Is that dangerous? What What are some of the things that you've been coming across with people avoiding vaccines or, and, and that? Sure. No, I mean, all parents, uh, like you and I, you know, just want what's best for their children. And uh, while most parents understand the importance of vaccinations, uh, one of the most common questions I get is, can I delay them or spread them out? Um, some parents feel overwhelmed by the number of vac vaccines that are needed at a particular uh, well-child visit. Um, and from my perspective, it's really important to raise awareness not only on the importance of vaccines, but on how even more important it is to get those vaccines on time when they're due per the CDC schedule. And the reason that is, is that a baby's immune system is developing. And so um, it's very similar to how uh, other systems in the body are developing, right? So we watch and track our baby's uh, motor skill development, their language development. We see uh, how they're doing growth and weight wise. And so all of these things we look at and we know there's a process and a timeline. And so because of that, we also have learned that in order for vaccines to work the best that they can, they need to be given on time per the schedule um, in order to actually essentially allow a baby's underdeveloped and developing immune system get the most benefit. And so um, the mechanism is that when you give a baby a vaccine, their body creates antibodies. And antibodies are the body's key factors for fighting and preventing infection. Um, and so if we miss doses or we delay them, then we inhibit the body's ability to make the appropriate and right amount of antibodies so that a baby can be as optimally protected as possible. Ah, I, I love that explanation. You know, I feel like that's a question that so many people have, and it's hard to find a straight answer. So I appreciate you for explaining it so um, candidly. Oh, thank you. So where can um, parents go to learn more about it if they have further questions? Um, you know, Absolutely. Information for them. Yes. So all parents um, are the best advocates for their child's health care. And so first and foremost, I encourage every parent to talk closely with your pediatrician um, about vaccines and about any questions you have. But there are credible resources online for families, and I think that's really important for parents to be aware of. One, of course, is the CDC website. It has all the details you need to know about vaccinations, the facts, the schedules, uh, where to find other resources. But there's also a new website that I'm excited to partner with Pfizer on called BabyVax facts.com. It's a very user-friendly website geared towards parents to give them all the information that they need to know about the schedules, the timing, which vaccines, when, uh, really the facts. And uh, again, that's babyvaxfacts.com. Awesome. That's 
that sounds exactly like what we need. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's simple for, for parents to understand. And, yes. Because and, like you said, every every mom and, and dad, they just want what's best for their children, and they're just trying to do the best job they can do. Um, but if you don't have, if you're not armed with the proper information, you're not going to be able to do that. So exactly. Information is key. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, I really appreciate you talking with us. Like I said, vaccines, it's a really touchy subject, and I know people feel really strongly about them, but the trick is getting the information out there, educating people, and hopefully, you know, we can continue to stay protected in the U.S., right? Absolutely. U.S. and worldwide. It, it's going to make a difference everywhere, especially in the global environment that we have today with people traveling back and forth. It's so important to vaccinate as many uh, as, of our kids as we can. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Arnold. It was a pleasure talking with you. Oh, thank you again for having me today. Have a great afternoon. You as well.